Hey everyone, Kita Sean here, so welcome back to another video for Fate Grand Order, or I guess you can say Melty Blood Type Lumina. So as you guys probably already know, Ushi Wakamaru and the Count of Monte Cristo or Edmund Dantes appears in Melty Blood as playable characters, and honestly, there are a lot of mixed reviews. It's not surprising because these are characters from Fate Grand Order, and Melty Blood players want to see Melty Blood characters. But here's the thing. Edmund Dantes makes sense to be in Melty Blood type Lumina. Ushi Wakamaru, on the other hand, a little confliction. Uh, I'll talk about why these two characters were put in Melty Blood type Lumina. Let's start off with Ushi because it's actually the short story. So back in the day, Melty Blood and Fate Grand Order did a poll and they asked, hey, what character, what servant do you guys want to see in Melty Blood? And uh, unfortunately, the poll, I don't believe, has been public, so I don't really know if this is true or not, but a lot of people online are stating that Ushi Wakamaru won that poll, thus she's in Melty Blood type Lumina. I understand that Ushi Wakamaru is very popular, but I don't think she would be a bunch of other servants. Like, there are just way too many servants that I believe should be higher on the pull list. So, that's just me. Again, I don't know if the pull is public or anything like that. If it is, it'd be really cool if you guys let me know in the comment section down below. I'll look into it. But it, it, it's just kind of like... It's interesting that they decided to go with Ushi Wakamata. Maybe the devs really wanted to see Ushi in the uh, the game. I don't know. But for Ushi, uh, it makes sense in a way because when we saw her reveal trailer, she does fight Akiha, who obviously is, you know, a demon. And Ushi is, you know, somewhat with the Tengu stuff. So Tengu demons fight. Yeah, it, it, it makes sense. But yeah, Ushi is a little kind of you know it's kind of pushing it but that's i think why ushi wakamaru is in melty blood now as for edmund dantes the count of monte cristo there is a entire lore on this so this actually goes back a few years so the title of this drama cd is called strange tales of a heroic spirit lore king of the cavern edmund dantes Obviously, it uh, features Edmund Dantes as the protagonist, his story on taking revenge for the death of his mentor. And the villain of this entire story is a character named Tarantella, and this is actually a reincarnation of Michael Roa. Yes, that Ra from Melty Blood. So as you guys probably already know the story about Ra, he reincarnates all the time to basically keep living. If you didn't know that, spoiler. But that is Roa's character. And somehow Roa was able to be in the Type Moon, the Fate Universe. Again, Tsukihime and Fate Universes are two different universes. Uh, it all, you know, combines with the Magi and stuff like that. If you guys need more details on the whole universe thing, go watch Gigix's video. He explains it pretty well, in my opinion. But going back to this whole uh, Dantes and Roa connection. So yeah, you can tell it's Roa because look at the face. Literally looks like Roa. Like, just compare the two. But I actually really love these two designs, the Dantes and Roa design. Hopefully we get this design of Dantes and FGO. I think it'd be really cool. But yeah, these two characters basically fight it out. Rora, obviously, like his uh, Tsukihime uh, version, he needs to uh, reincarnate all the time to basically stay alive. He is a dead apostle, but he doesn't have the powers of the 27 dead apostle ancestors. So that that is key right there. So he's not as strong as he is in Tsukihime or Melty Blood, basically. But um, yeah, these two have beef. They fought each other. Edmund Dantes killed uh, Tarantella or Roa, uh, burned him in the crisps because of the flames. And uh, yeah, that basically explains why Dantes joins Melty Blood. Uh, I have not yet seen the uh, the what do you call it? the the dialogue yet in Melty Blood when these two fight I am very excited to read that story uh, I do play Melty Blood for the story uh, I'm not that great at fighting games so but I love watching it but yeah uh, I'm very interested to see their story in Melty Blood definitely I'm gonna give it a read but uh, yeah again for those wondering 
why this FGO character is in Melty Blood. That's why they actually have beef. So again, it makes sense, and um, I, I don't think Dante should be uh, hated for this. I, I, I think it just makes complete sense. Uh, Nas, it's just Nasu doing Nasu things with with his story. So uh, trying to connect, you know, Tsukihime to Fate. Uh, but again, we had Arquade from Tsukihime slash Melty Blood joining the Fate Grand Order. So it completely makes sense to have, um, you know, someone that has a connection to a character from Melty Blood or Tsukihime, you know, move in over there. Uh, as for Mashu, Saber, and uh, Ushiwakamaru, yeah, we, we, I mean, we saw Mashu and Saber coming, but as for Ushi, again, it's a, it's a little conflicting, but uh, I'm, I'm sure the mushroom found a way how to uh, add Ushi in the story and <laughs> of all. But uh, that is also something I need to check out, Ushi's story. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to play Melty Blood for that story part, and um, hopefully we get to see Roa in, you know, Fate. That'd be really cool to see. Uh, it'd be really cool to see some more interactions, more story, more lore. Uh, because I love Titan Moon lore, and I think Titan Moon lore is very interesting. I think how, I, I just think you know Nasu's storytelling is just really fun. Uh, but yeah, uh, that, that's basically why Dantes is in uh, Melty Blood. It makes sense. Ushi again, eh, we don't know why, but whatever, we like it. And she she seems fun. Like she seems like a very fun character. I'm I'm watching gameplay and everything like that. And uh, I mean the two characters, they seem pretty cool. So I don't know. I'll give I'll give them a try. But uh, they are free DLC, definitely check them out, and um, yeah, enjoy Melty Blood, guys. But that's basically about it, I just wanted to talk about why Dantes fits in Melty Blood, uh, because I, again, I know there are a lot of haters out there saying, damn it, FGO fighting game, <sighs> but hey, this is, might just be a start of a FGO fighting game in the future, like, I am still uh positive on that I, I do believe in the in the near future we will see a fgo fighting game and um, if we do i do plan on like practicing and playing and putting multiple hours in a fighting game for fgo um because i feel like as an fgo fan like i have to do that <laughs> but i mean i don't have to but you know you get what i mean like i really really want to dedicate myself to a specific fighting game and i haven't done that in a very long time but yeah that's basically about it thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed and uh, let me know in the comment section below if you guys think this is really cool to see dantes and ushi in melty blood and um is it just really cool to see dantes actually have lore with roa and um, all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters.